Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Gigon. Now the news in detail. Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Nirmala Sitaraman, who is in Auckland for three-day corporate social responsibility and investment conclave, today inaugurated Dialysis Centre at District Hospital Dimapur in the presence of Chief Minister Nipirio and health officials. <music> At present, District Hospital Dimapur Dialysis Centre has four functional dialysis machines. The centre is being implemented by Doctors for You in collaboration with Department of Health and Family Welfare and Investment and Development Authority of India and financially supported by the Boeing India. Okay, thank you for joining Hornbill TV. So, today the dialysis centre to inaugurate Guidan is now. Key facilities at present, key key asset, and then what are the projects, uh, different projects coming up in the future? It has, uh, what we were told by the doctors for uh, you was that to establish a uh, dialysis center, it takes not less than three months. Now, uh, for us, uh, we had made this in a record time of uh, three weeks, and the equipments were, are all from uh, Germany and other uh, places. So that is how we have uh, established this one. And then this, uh, as per the agreement, uh, the partnership will continue for three, uh, for 10 years. At present, uh, how many machines are there in this dialysis unit? Uh, presently, uh, we will operate with 14 machines. 10 machines are all already uh, donated by Boeing company. And uh, in that 10 machines, we can have negative patients and four machines already existing in the hospital, in their center. So we will be taking positive uh, patients also. Okay. Because presently, uh, they have four to five machines. They have very good uh, condition. Um, they have very good condition. They are into very good condition. So we can take, uh, we can upgrade, we can take uh, HIV B positive, we can get, H, uh, sorry, HIV patient, HCV patient, and yes. H, uh, B positive patients also. Yes, sir. Uh, manpower is here already. There is uh, uh, Mr. Kuvu is already taking uh, here the dialysis technician here. And he is very, uh, he can handle each uh, this uh, situation also, any serious situation also. And uh, already physician is also there, uh, physician madam. madam. So we can carry the dialysis statement and if they want, if the patient is almost, uh, if there are three shifts per day, then we can increase the manpower. We can increase for two to three technicians, three technicians and five to six staff nurses and uh, two sweepers, two attendants at a time. So uh, the staff is objective is to, uh, depending on the caseload, to increase the dialysis capacity up to 60 sessions per day. Now, whatever is available, stuff available here in the hospital, uh, in addition to that, uh, the additional manpower requirement or any other resources requirement for the uh, delivery of quality services and then training of the existing manpower, all will be taken up by the doctors for you. This is a, uh, we know that uh, already as it is written there, this is a sponsored by the Boeing India and Boeing India and uh, the Doctors for You, they have this partnership for implementation. And the state has a uh, MOU with the Doctors for You for the next 10 years. So all this party came in and then under this agreement, the dialysis to, uh, center which was integrated today will be run by the doctors for you. And there will be no additional calls from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the state government. All the operational calls will be uh, funded by the doctors for you. 
and there will be a uh, user fee which has been uh, uh, initially been uh, uh, fixed uh, taking a cue from the study by the World Bank which says that uh, in here in Dimapur the cost of the supplies and consumable for dialysis is not less than 2000 so taking a cue from that uh, the rate basic rate will be uh, at 2000 and for continuous supply of uh, power electricity and for the security uh, additional 500 will be charged now this uh, rate will be reviewed after six months because this uh, agreement is uh, is based on the uh, self-sustainability and uh, not for profit whatever revenue is earned through this uh, doctors for you center dialysis center it will be remain here and then it will be that amount will be utilized for the operational costs and then maintenance costs of the equipment and if there is any other uh, saving then again they it will be reinvested here for upgradation of the e equipments and the facilities so that is the basic uh, principle of this uh, agreement that w uh, has been done today Prior to dialysis center inauguration, the Union Finance Minister also visited Herlum Naga unit at Sovima. The unit has been providing employment to 450 women and 300 male. In his maiden visit to Woka district, the governor of Nagaland, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, visited the Doyang Hydro Project. The governor was accompanied by his lady wife, Prem Mukhi. The governor was apprised by the tourism department about the tourist attractions there and the area being among the most visited places in the district. The governor relished the beauty of the nature at Doyang and its potential in tourism and said to be happy to announce that he will be the ambassador in promoting tourism at Doyang. He also visited the Doyang Dam and had interactions with the area's members of Legislative Assembly, Advisor Madung Yantan and NEPCO officials. We have come to the Adadi Kamrit Mohsa Manaya. We will also be made of the Adadi Kamrit Mohsa Manaya. And we will also be made of the Adadi Kamrit Mohsa Manaya. और आज आप स्वतंत्र भारत के अंदर आपने जन्म लिया है प्यारे बच्चों स्वतंत्रता या गुलामी के क्या परिणाम होते हैं किस तरह का जीवन जीना पड़ता है ये आप केवल इतिहास का विषय रह गया हमारे किंतु जितनी यातनाएं हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानी में यहाँ पर सैनिक हैं यदि उनका थोड़ा सा भी वर्णन आप देखना चाहें एक बार यदि आपको विद्यालय के माध्यम से ग्रुप के रूप में जाने का मौका मिले तो अंडेमान जाकर के दीजिए वहाँ की सेलुलर जेल जो है वो जीता डरता आज भी इस बात का प्रमाण है वहाँ जाने पर पता लगता है कि किस प्रकार की यातनाएं हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानी को दिखा उन्हें याद करने का मौका था और साथ ही एक अपनी भावना बलवती करने के लिए भी एक मौका था मैं सब जगह ये प्रीत कर रहा हूं यहां करने की मुझे आवश्यकता नहीं है कि बच्चे जब स्कूल के अंदर पढ़ते 
A short program was conducted at Vivekananda Kendra Vijayala, where Mukhi delivered a short speech exhorting the students to put the nation first. The students performed a cultural dance and songs during the event. Marking his visit, the governor planted a tree sibling at the NEPCO guest house. The governor also had a briefing with NEPCO CISF authorities and a meeting with NGOs and community members, among others. The governor had an interaction with the HODs at the DC conference hall, which was attended by advisor for law and justice, Dr. Chumen Muri, and advisor horticulture and border affairs, Madung Yantan. He also interacted with civil society organizations. The newly formed Nidish Kumar led Mahakat Panda government of Bihar today proved a majority in the Bihar Legislative Assembly. The government already has the support of 165 MLAs, way over the minimum requirement. Bihar Assembly Speaker Vijay Kumar Saxena resigned today after the Bihar government demanded his resignation as he lost the no confidence motion moved by MLAs after ruling Mahakat Panda. Ahead of the commencement of the floor test in Bihar Assembly, CBI conducted searches at several leaders of the Rastri Ajana Datal in connection with the alleged land for jobs scam that took place when Lalu Prasad was the railway minister. The search operation was carried out at the premises of several senior leaders of the RJD, including MLC Sunil Singh, Raja Sabha MPs Ashwag Karim and Vayas Ahmed and former MLC Subodh Rai officials said. Nahar Lagun police busted a fake currency operation at Laluk in Assam and arrested two persons on August 23. According to the police, rupees 19,75,000 in bank accounts have been identified and frozen out of 20 lakhs. It was also found out that the gang has cheated more than 20 persons across the northeastern states. The police have seized fake currency printing machine, counterfeit notes and other items used for cheating people. Police team led by SDBO Nahar Lagun D. Kumja carried out raid based on first hand information filed by one victim of D sector, Nahar Lagun, on August 21. According to FIR, the victim was cheated off a sum of rupees 20 lakhs by two persons who introduced themselves as Rakesh Das and Radun Das and impersonated RBI officials. The arrested persons have been identified as Rido Yalam and Bilal Hussein at Rakesh Das. During the course of investigation, it was disclosed that a gang based at Bangal Mara, a sum consisting of Bilal Hussein, Rageshtas, Das, Mazarul Islam, Radon Das and Roshitul Islam have been cheating people, posing as RBI officials in the name of doubling money using money printing machine. Uh, this is regarding a cheating uh, matter where uh, our public is offered money uh, fake currency which uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, cheating and uh, they take smaller amount and then they are given larger amount and uh, later it is found that the money is uh, fake. So uh, regarding this we, has, we have received an FIR ye, uh, August 18th ki baat hai. Ek FIR mila Nahar Lagan police station mein jis mein ek lady ne hume bataya ki usse 20 lakh rupay do logo ne जिसने अपने को राकेश दास और रतन दास के नाम से और आरबीआई ऑफिशियल बनके इस इनके सामने आए और उनसे जो है 20 लाख रुपए चीटिंग कर ली जैसे ही हमें रिसीव हुआ हमने एक केस रजिस्टर किया 103 ओब्लिक 22 अंडर सेक्शन 120 बी 419 420 आईपीसी क्योंकि ऐसा बहुत सारा इंसिडेंट सुनने को आता रहता है सोशल मीडिया में भी काफी Union Minister of State for Railways and Coal and Mines, Rao Shia Patil Tanve, today visited Ripoy District, one of the selected aspirational districts to review various development activities in the district. Speaking to the public during his visit, Tanve expressed happiness that various schemes are being implemented and that many schemes have been launched to benefit the people. 
इसमें कुछ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऐसे जिले ऐसे हैं जो कुछ ना कुछ कारण से पिछड़े हैं किरण कत्तो का नेतृत्व के दूसरे झाकने का रवि का जो कि इनके साथ भी है लेकिन जाओ तो जो बात किया जो के जिले में कुछ कमी है इस कमी को जो विकसित जिले हैं प्रोग्रेसिव जिले हैं उसके बराबर लाने के लिए उसके साथ साथ लाने के लिए मोदी जी ने कुछ राशि का प्रावधान किया कुछ धन राशि का प्रावधान किया है डिस्ट्रिक्ट में केंद्र के सभी मंत्रियों को ये में भेज कर वहां पर कुछ प्रोग्रेस हो रही है नहीं हो रही है इसके लिए हम लोगों को भेजा है मैंने डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर के साथ आज मीटिंग कराई मैं वेलनेस सेंटर में गया मैं पब्लिक हेल्थ सेंटर में गया मैं अभी तुम्हारे साथ इंटरेक्शन कर रहा हूँ Tanvi also visited an Anganwadi center at Umdihar village, a health and wellness center Umsaung Nonka and Sainten village where he interacted with members of self-help groups about various schemes. With music and gaiety, the National People's Party on Wednesday celebrated its 10th Foundation Day in Mekalaya, the program held at Shillong. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, besides other leaders, paid tribute to the late P.S. Sangma. On the occasion, C.M. Sangma also took a guitar and sang popular numbers. <laughs> CM Conrad Sangma also attended the state executive meeting of the National People's Party Mekalaya where members shared reports about the working of the branches of the party and discussed the way ahead. The MDCs and the candidates who were there, they spoke. And they said that the reason why we have joined the National People's Party is because we feel that this is the only party that can take the state forward. We are confident that the National People's Party will form and will get single majority in 2023. We want to be with a party that can make a difference. We want to be with a party that has got the courage to take decisions. Courage to take decisions. These are the words that are being used by people. Tripura State Committee of the Communist Party of India Marxists organized a meeting at Akadala Town Hall as part of events to highlight protection of the constitution, democracy and the ideals of secularism. secularism. CBIM All India General Secretary Sitaram Yechuri and CBIM Politburo member Manik Sarkar and other leaders were present at the event. <laughs> सीताराम युचुरी अपर बक सद्य सभापति कमरेड अंकुर देव वर्मा सबा के नमस्कार खुलूम खान एखे प्रथम आज के आलोचना सभा बक्तव्य रखबें पार्टी राज्य कॉग्रेस सम्पादक कमरेड जितेन चौधरी हमारे पार्टी केंद्र कमिटी अन्नन सदस्य बिंद Professors and students from the National Chung Hee Singh University today attended a tea symposium organized by the India for Massa Angel Business Promoters and Tartil Lentu Dili at Ijal Club in Aizol. Deputy Chief Minister Daun Lua expressed gratitude to the guests from Taiwan who will be working with tea producers of the state in the production of a premium brand tea leaves. It is worth noting that experts from Taiwan had visited the state in 2019 too and returned with tea leaves samples. Tea samples were dried and sieved in Taiwan for producing a premium brand. Formosa Foundation India Chapter Chairman Jonathan Lalrem Ruata stated that the Taiwanese team from National Chung Sing University has visited the tea growing hamlets of Piat, Darzo and Reik. He expressed hope for collaborating with Taiwan in other agricultural produce.
During a routine check on passengers, the government railway police found two gold biscuits weighing 3.30 grams per biscuit and valued at about 50,000 to 60,000 from a passenger of the Rajtani Express on Wednesday morning at a Guwahati railway station. The individual from whom the gold biscuits were recovered has been arrested. He has been identified as one M.D. Muhyiddin, 42, from Tamil Nadu. The person was said to be coming from Dimapur and on his way to Delhi next to Chennai. The gold biscuits were hidden in the belt of their trousers. Further investigation is going on. मानुजे मोहम्मद मोहिद्दीन आरोप डिमापुर दिल्ली लेके गई आज तार पे डर चेन्नई जो प्लेन आज प्राइस किलोशन करी टू के जि पॉइंट थ्री थ्री टू के जि मैं तीन बत्रीस ग्राम आम फोन पाइस और आज डेट टेन ग्राम मूल्य पंचाश हजार ऊपर तो जरूर हम गति के कलकुलेन कर in an operation on wednesday morning the assam police apprehended two smugglers and seized seven elephant tusk a gun cartridges three mobile phones and some documents The arrested smugglers have been identified as Tagirina and Tadem Zum, both hailing from Sili police station area in the East Siang district of Arunachal Pradesh. The smugglers tried to escape but were unsuccessful, police said. The police could track and apprehend the smugglers today morning, the police said. I was <laughs> in the Gupan Futur, and I was in the Gupan Futur. वहीं सुरंग बन्नो पानी सुरंग बहा तो ना ये हम सब चुली थका बोले अभी खबर पे सु अभी ये ऑपरेशन तो ज्वागली रतिये को रिसीव हुई किंतु अभी ज्वागली रति सक्सेस होगा नहीं हुआ इन लोग हमारे ये ऑपरेशन का हमारा जुनाय भरपूरता रखी थी क्या और जुनाय था ना जी हो कल ऐसा ही कुछ जर दिखाया है और कंपन हाथी दाँत पा गई से और टूवेल्व बोर राइफल पा गई से किस आपत्तिजनक नथिपत्र पा गई